everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Melody and I make faith-based content here on YouTube. And welcome to the vlog. A good old weekend vlog. It has been a hot minute since I vlogged, so I thought it'd be fun to bring you guys along with us on this lovely Sunday. And I also want in this video to talk about married life and really give you guys some of the, I guess, insight and some of the ways that God has been teaching me what service looks like in my family and how to serve my family and how to serve my husband. These honestly are things I thought would come naturally. Like, oh, you're married and like, bam, you're in like this service mode. No, you know what I mean? The Lord has truly been working on me and I feel my heart starting to change and how I view serving my family and serving my husband and what that specifically looks like for me and for our marriage. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to talk to you guys about it because I, um, again, I really thought things would just be like, boom. And I'm excited to share with you that they're not and give you guys a more realistic expectation or just like my experience of really what that has looked like. So that's what we're going to get into today. I feel like my nose is running a little bit right now. Excuse me. I have some water and X's no, I always say it wrong. Naratu, Naratu, Naruto. I always say, I know it's not hard. I don't know, my brain hates trying to pronounce this word. Whatever, his favorite anime cup. I'm sipping on some water this morning. Um, and yeah, the first thing we're gonna do is tackle these dishes and uh, let's just go ahead and hop into a little, a little time lapse of cleaning. Let's do it. got back from his five mile bike ride. Say hello! What's up, yeah? Five minute bike ride. I said five mile. Oh. <laughs> um, so the kitchen is like semi-clean. We had Thai takeout last night. So before I go to the grocery store, I wanna not be hungry. So I'm gonna warm up some of this. Then we're gonna go grocery shopping. Let's do it. <laughs> Gotta bring the reusable. It just makes it so much more convenient. My water and keys. Okay. grocery store I hope you guys liked that little montage of putting in the groceries I kind of felt a little silly turning my camera on and closing the trunk and then recording and then closing it and then turn opening it back up again and grab my camera but the things you do for the cool shots anyways so now that I'm back the kitchen is semi clean we put away all the groceries and before I start cooking I wanted to make him and I a little midday pick-me-up so I am super excited to be partnering with Mud Water on this portion of the video. I'm going to be making both of us a glass of Mud Water. And I know that sounds a little bit crazy, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started on making it. And as I do, I'm going to be telling you guys all about Mud Water, which is a coffee alternative. And for me, I love incorporating this on the weekends because I do love my coffee, but sometimes you just wanna give yourself a break. And that is when Mud Water comes in perfectly. So let's go ahead and get started making this mud water and I'm going to tell you guys all about it. So mud water is a coffee alternative with four adaptogenetic mushrooms and Ayurvedic herbs. What I like to do is add a tablespoon to hot water and then kind of just freestyle, add honey if I want. I also like to add the creamer that came in my starter pack. The starter pack includes 30 servings of mud water, like the mud water base and 
a USB rechargeable frother and that free sample of their vegan coconut creamer as well. Something that's really cool about their packaging is that their tins are recyclable and the cream has a compostable packaging. So if you guys are interested in checking out and trying out Mudwater, be sure to use the link in my description box. You will get 15% off your starter kit and you just have to use that link and my code Melody Elisa. So again, thank you so much to Mudwater for sponsoring this portion of today's vlog. Alrighty, so we have our midday pick me up. Cheers, and this is actually gonna be his first time. Well, there it goes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we are gonna go upstairs really quick. Don't mind my crusty, dusty lips, guys. We've been having some dry lip problems. I've been trying to get it together. So. Alrighty. I feel like every time I pick the camera up, I gotta sing a little something. Um, but yeah, so I'm in my office now. I figured it would be a good time to kind of chitty chat with you guys and talk about how God has been changing my perspective in terms of serving my family. And when I say family, that really just means ex, cause like, it's just us too, like, but we are a family. And I think thinking about it that way has been helping. Sorry, I just can't stop looking at me. <laughs> Don't look, okay? Thinking about it that way has been helping me change my perspective. So let me set this camera up so I don't gotta hold it this whole time and we are going to chitty chat. Maybe I can just pull this over. All right, we got this thing here. So let me just try to put the camera up. How does it work? That was easy. Okay, let me get a little, little angle. Okay, perfect. All right, so, so X and I have been married for six months now, and six months literally this month. And when it comes to the idea of serving our family and serving my husband, I think I came into marriage with a very selfish mindset not like only looking out for myself, like I want everything to be exactly how I want it to be, but I definitely didn't think of accommodating him and accommodating his preferences in terms of like how the house is cleaned. So for example, with just like how we clean, I prefer to clean and dedicate like a whole day, five hours, seven hours, and we'll just deep clean the house. But for him, he likes to clean up a little bit here and there throughout the week, every day, maybe 10, 15, 30 minutes. So the house kind of maintains a certain level of like clean cleanliness at all times. And because your girl lived by herself, I've never had to consider how anyone else wanted like the house to look throughout the week. And I don't mind a little bit of mess. Like I kind of thrive in like a little bit of mess. X, not so much. So as we've been going throughout these six months, we've had conversations here and there of him very gently and very graciously bringing up some requests of like, hey, can we try to keep the house a little bit cleaner throughout the week? And another thing has been cooking. So yeah, girl, I really identified as someone that didn't like to cook. I liked to eat, I love to eat, but I don't necessarily like to cook. And because of how busy I was, um, or am really, like doing YouTube, working full time, excuse me, cooking is one of those things that is just like, it's a waste of time. Like it wasn't a priority to me. I figured like we both can fend for ourselves. We never really set up some like traditional gender roles of like me cooking and cleaning and him not like doing that or you know, whatever. We never really set things like that up. And we both don't really abide by like traditional gender roles in that sense. We both contribute, but there are specific things that both of us do. Um, and cooking was something that like maybe one of us would do, maybe one of us wouldn't do. And like we would just kind of fend for ourselves throughout the week. And that is where God really has been 
changing my perspective and one of the big things that he's shown me and kind of revealed to me throughout the past i'd say month is listening to x more listening to his desires listening to what he would like especially becomes especially because he approaches it very graciously like he's not like i want this do this woman or something like that like he really just kind of brings these suggestions like how about or mel can you please cook a little bit more and when someone's coming to you like that so nicely and humbly how can you be like no fit for yourself so yeah i think his approach coupled with god really changing my perspective on what serving looks like like serving right now in my family serving my husband looks like cleaning up more often than i necessarily on my own would want to it means cooking so nowadays what i previously perceived as a waste of time i've been asking god to like help me see this in a fresh perspective and i'm seeing cooking and spending time two three hours on sundays cooking because that's really the only day i'll cook i'll cook for the week in like one big batch well a few different dishes for like the week and it is a time one where i'm able to really spend time with god i like to put a sermon on i like to put um some worship music on and i just be getting down in the kitchen and this thing that i thought was like a chore that i really didn't like to do before i'm now starting to enjoy and then also knowing that this is something that my husband really appreciates and in that it makes me more happy to do it because i'm not just thinking like i hate cooking i don't want to do this i'm thinking this isn't necessarily about me. My husband really appreciates this. This is a time for me to be able to slow down without any devices or any technology, just really spend time with God. Also, this actually doesn't suck as much as I thought it did. So, um, yeah. I feel like that's like a small growth thing that I've realized through six months of marriage, really <sighs> taking the approach to serve him, to think about him more, to like, what would he like to do? Leaning a little bit more into his world, not necessarily always trying to be like, well, I want something to be this, 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 and this way. And I think to be honest, I like lean more towards that concept, lean more towards the idea of like, I prefer things to be this, 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 and I would, you know, love if you just kind of met me here where I would want things to be, but that is not marriage at all. So, um, yeah, the Lord has been working on me, softening my heart and how I view service and I'm grateful for it. And I actually look forward to cooking like on Sundays, like earlier when I went grocery shopping before I go, I get what I'm gonna make for the week, talk to him about it and be like, all right, this is what I have for the week, what do you think? And to be um, completely like honest too, he's always on board for whatever I cook. Like he's a very, simple easy to have like easy to please person so it's not like he's making these crazy requests of like crazy dishes to make it's just like having some food in the house throughout the week so we both make better healthy choices and it is saving us a lot of money as well which is good because like you guys just saw we have some major life uh purchases coming up for our first home so the more we can save money the better um, but yeah, so that wraps up this little segment of how the Lord is transforming my heart in terms of serving my family. If you guys are married, I would love to know or love to hear in the comments below, like how was that transition for you? I know this is just like my experience. I know other women might have like that immediate heart to like start serving their husband or cooking for them or cleaning for them and things like that. But that stuff did not come natural. <laughs> to me so i would love to hear your experience and how the lord kind of transformed your mind and your heart regarding service if he has and what that looks like in your marriage um but yeah so we are wrapping up here we're actually gonna go swing by the house and look at it as we go to the mattress store and get a new mattress i'm so excited i hate our mattress it is this older mattress that X has had for a long, not a long time, but he like had it before we got married and I had a full size mattress. He had the queen, so of course we kept the queen, but I've been waiting for this day for us to get a new mattress and we are going with, okay, sorry, I'm trying to turn this thing off. Okay, we are going with a Tempur-Pedic hybrid mattress 
And what I'm excited about is it is like motion isolating and it's not fully Tempur-Pedic. I don't really like fully Tempur-Pedic because that's like too much softness. So the fact that it's hybrid, it has springs and the Tempur-Pedic aspect of it. So you kind of get like the best of both worlds, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. He's probably waiting for me. Let's see. One eternity later. We just finished up at Mattress Firm. It took us a little longer than we expected. They had issues with our address, but we are now the proud owners of a new Tempur-Pedic mattress, which will be getting delivered to us next. Wednesday. I could not be more thrilled. Want to say anything? No, not that. We got a new mattress. You don't sound very excited, sir. <laughs> it's just a mattress. Oh, I'm so excited. Mm. So excited. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna head back to the Ponderosa I and stop by the house. We're gonna give you guys a very, very quick updated house tour. We have drywall now, so that's so exciting. Uh, oh no, it's starting to rain. I will see you guys when we get to the Casa. have two slabs no covering which is okay with us some of the other houses have covering but that was like if you did the covering it was like an extra ten thousand dollars it's really yeah now we'll do that ourselves looks good babe house quick super duper little overview i'm not gonna go upstairs i picked up some pizza on the way home i'm starving and i still need to cook tonight so we're gonna get home, eat some pizza. So this is some fire pizza. If you are in the Atlanta area, I highly encourage you to check out Glide ATL. X is a pizza connoisseur, so when he recommends pizza, you best believe it's good. We're gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog in front of this giant pizza. But thank you so much for hanging out with us today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys would like more vlogs, definitely let me know in the comments and give this one a thumbs up as well. I will see you guys in my next video. I'm just gonna eat some pizza and end the night cooking. And that is my way of serving my household. So. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys had a great weekend yourselves. And again, I will see you guys in my next video next Tuesday. Peace.